one of those days that if you're heading to Summerfest, you may want to even bring a light jacket or a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah, or just have the rain jacket with you and maybe you can get some warmth from that and protect yourself from the rain. Yesterday I was outside at one of the little cafes downtown and I looked at the radar. I was like, oh, there's a storm coming. I'm going inside. Ten minutes later, huge rush of people coming down. So if you're outdoors at a cafe, keep an eye on Jesse. Right. <laughs> she heads watch inside. Where I go. <laughs> that means storms. Always with your eye on the radar. Yeah, of course. Even when I'm not working. But you know, yesterday we had some of those hit and miss showers. This is a great picture from Carl uh, sent in from Oconomowoc yesterday of some of those gloomy clouds. And yesterday, a little nice shot of. Amy at Summerfest. So thanks for sending in those pictures. You can see at the very top on the right hand corner there was a rainbow up there. So did see quite a few rainbows yesterday, especially in the morning. What a great state start to the day. Uh, this disturbance though that brought us the showers yesterday and brought us all the rain earlier in the week. It's still spitting. It's a huge upper air disturbance. You can see this swirl around this upper air low and that's just going to bring in rounds of clouds throughout the day today. And yes, rounds of some of these scattered hit and miss garden variety showers, not looking at any severe weather, but this is going to kind of continue to pinwheel around this huge area of low pressure, keeping the clouds in the forecast. Now we are looking at some fog, especially in the Kenosha area around Racine, as well as in Milwaukee. Uh, visibility has dropped to less than a mile, so you'll have to deal with that this morning. But overall, we are going to be seeing conditions improve as we go throughout the rest of the day. Uh, still chances, though, for some spotty hit and miss showers. Temps are going to be a lot cooler compared to yesterday. Hit 80 degrees. We're 10 degrees cooler today, and that is me being really nice. I'm hoping we get to 70 degrees. Many hours of the day will be stuck in the 60s because of the clouds, because of a north northeasterly wind. Remember Summerfest last year? Wow, it was hot. It took all the temps from last year. Uh, the high temps at Summerfest averaged them together, got an average high temp of 92 degrees for the entire duration of Summerfest last year, and that included five days in the 90s and two record high temp days where we hit 102 and 103 degrees right around the 4th of July. We do not have the heat here. They have it down in the the southwest and that's where they're talking about scorching temps and this is going to be flirting with 110 to 120 de degrees today down in the southwest and that heat is going to continue down in the southwest for the next couple of days could be even close to some record high temps across the entire globe the record high is set in death valley 134 degrees don't know if we'll get there but it's going to be just blazing sizzling conditions in the sin city area uh, through today and even into early next week for us though here's the jet stream it takes a huge dip as we go into sunday and into Monday. That means we'll stay in the cool temps, but we'll see return of the sunshine later. Not today. Today we still have the clouds again. Hit and miss garden variety sprinkled uh, showers across the area. I do expect the showers to come to an end tonight, though, and skies will start to clear heading into Sunday thanks to high pressure sliding on in. That will give us sunny skies on Sunday. It will still be cool with a north northeasterly wind, but we will be looking at the sunshine returning and the humidity stays low, so it won't feel sticky, which is quite nice. 70 degrees for today. And again, many of us stuck in the 60s, especially the further north and closer to the lake front you get. Then tonight, clearing skies 57 for an overnight low and tomorrow pick day out of the weekend with low humidity 71 at the lake 75 inland a little bit breezy at times but again pick day out of the weekend it will feel very comfortable but cool then we get closer to 4th of july 77 degrees we warm back up to summer like weather which of course includes a chance for some of those summer storms all right yeah 70 back bouncing back down you can finally mow your lawn on sunday monday <laughs> yes, or tuesday a few dry days that's what we need <laughs>